What up, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. I had to show off my new creations. And Alps man, say hello, buddy. I created a brand new ramp and I managed to put some sand paint on it because it was really slick. Most of the parkour I've done is in actually a parkour gym called Pillar Parkour here in Richmond, Virginia, and it's indoors. It's very clean, I've had a lot of grip. I haven't done it outside. Virginia or any northern southern state where you have mornings of mildew, it's wet. Or if you have rain, and we just had a hurricane running around in shoes outside, it gets very damp. And so this guy right here is a 45 degree block. And what he does is you run up on him, you can jump off him, you can practice cat hangs, which are a little easier because it's not as tiring. However, it's slick. It's very, very slick. So I put some sandpit on it to make sure. So I, I only put one coat, but you can see very coarse sand here and I got it from Lowe's in a bag so it, it helped it grip a lot. I did the same thing on the boxes but I've actually put two coats on these guys so I don't know if you can see it very well but already it's collecting dirt. It dries within an hour so it's been about a day now. It cures within two weeks is latex so once it cures I can wash it off I can scrape the heck out of it and it'll do very very well and then the big box the big guy he's got two coats on him very very thick with sand paint too so this stuff's not gonna go anywhere very good grip so even if it's wet outside after the hurricanes we've had it'll dry very well and home slice has been testing out he's been jumping on everything he possibly can the girls and I have been battle testing and lastly the girls take gymnastics on the side so I've been a balance beam on it I forgot to tell you this one doesn't have any uh, sand paint yet but very slick <laughs> I've already fallen twice and it's a good thing I've done powerlifting because I have a bootay so when I fall I can flex and it hurts but not as bad pretty fun already I've also got the pipe I managed to fix. I put some uh, two inch screws in that guy. I've already broken it twice. It actually had to go through two, uh, one two by four and then one one by four or one by six. And the, they just didn't hold. I actually had two, two, two inch screws, four of them didn't hold from jumping on it. So I put two and a half in there. I've been jumping all, all over this thing when it was dry out, laying it on the balance beam. Let's see. I'm balancing right now. It seems to work very well, so very strong. So I'm very happy with that. And the Volt Box, two foot one. I need to get a bigger one. The Volt Box is too small. See y'all tomorrow.